Just Just Yarman Yarman. Expecting another cracking local derby the then. Seven the seven Harriers who have lost five of the their last eight matches in all Evans. competitions and they'll be raring the to go to meet Sir Hereford on their home the turf. Hereford James having Roberts. beaten the Harriers in the, the reverse five. game just a few days ago. So Hereford in their change the kit, yellow shirts and black shorts. in their traditional red and white. If you're just joining us, uh, Harriers have made two changes. Jimmy O'Connor coming in, in to uh, the number four shirt of George Waring will lead the line as the main attack point for Harriers. Hereford one change, Calvin Dinsley coming in. And a back pass, which Hereford keeper Matt Yates just about gets connection on. And a shot back towards Yates. Declan Winks with the right idea there. He had a go. Hello and Evans collects it on the right-hand touchline. A couple of players wait inside the box, one of which is Simmons. Lovely run here from Tom Owen Evans. In the box, Roberts has a shot, Simmons with it, he can't get a shot in, it's almost a, a pass back, and I think it is a pass back. The referee has given that. As it's, I'm not sure if he trained for this sort of thing. It's to Roberts, into the court, top corner. Hereford have the advantage, 19 minutes. It's actually... A really good free kick in the sense that uh, they didn't r hurry with it. It was just rolled into the path of James Roberts. And he Got hit the ball the out to it as well, didn't he, from uh, underneath his feet there. But here come Harriers trying to get it back quickly. George Waring, edge of the box. Nice back heel, Chambers, across the face of goal. And it's bundled in at the far post. Harriers level within 60 seconds. Kane Richards from close range as that ball whistled across the six-yard box. He snaffled Whistle. onto it. And Wick stands. Here comes the ball into Chambers, left foot shot, partially blocked. Chambers again, good defensive tackle from Thomas. Floated in over the top of the crossbar by Weeks. And Except behind. He's, he's very popular in a quirky kind of way, George, in that uh, respect. Free kick then, Declan Weeks. 35 yards out, he's gone for goal! Yates gets there somehow, he didn't really get full contact to it and it's floated wide by Richards. It's deflected on its way, it's a corner to the half an hour mark. Declan Winks with the Harriers corner, quotes across, wearing with a shot. Blocked by the body of Cullinane Lybird, still in the area. O'Connor. Ball floated into the Hereford box, Thomas gets a touch to it. And uh, Hereford try and get out of the penalty area here. Harry as though keeping pressure on. This is a good knockdown. And it's a shot here wide by Jimmy O'Connor, the captain. Just for the Harriers and a good looking searching ball into the Hereford half. Cullinane Liber just gets a touch to it. Oh, that's a heavy challenge on Tom Owen Evans. An absolute belting challenge from Ryan Johnson. And it's a straight red card. Harriers down to 10 men. Johnson flattened him and the referee is calling for the physio Johnny Evans to come on it's possibly Roberts to the left hand shoulder of Finn and there's the half time whistle a few boos for the referee Stephen Copeland I feel from Harrier's contingent red card for Ryan Johnson in the first half Russ Penn Kane Richards and Declan Weeks in midfield. A break off as a cross comes over from the Harriers. Comes out for Declan Weeks. Oh, what a goal that is! An absolute cracker from Declan Weeks. We're talking in the first half about how ferocious his shots are from range. And that has absolutely flown into the top corner of the net. You won't see a better strike than that all season. Kidderminster Harriers 2, Hereford 1, Declan Weeks with an absolute extra set missile. Good movement again, out to Richards, who's made himself available into the penalty area. Right foot, here's Chambers, hasn't got a space to get a shot in. Picks out Declan Weeks in the end. Cross to the far post, cross coming in, Yates palming the ball away and Thomas has to concede a corner. We wait. Kick to be taken. Week slips as he takes it, but he gets a good delivery to the far post and it's hooked in. I think it was Horseful who drifted away, Still got a shot stops. blocked. Tom Owen Evans waits as well. Here comes the delivery from Richards into the six yard box and it's headed wide for a corner. Could have been an own goal. I think it came off 
Horseful in that college end. Taken by O'Sullivan. Whistles across the area. Gowling over the top of the bar. Opportunity for the former Harriers club oh, captain. O'Sullivan's got his arms raised right at the far post. It's a swerving one in. And Cullinane Leiber gets added to it. It glanced off him rather than a powerful header. Diagonal to Tom Owen Evans. Now Robert shows quick feet. He's done ever so well here. It's 35 yards out. Tries a shot of his own. Well, it's a bit of a daisy cutter and goes behind for a goal kick. Oh, disappointment for Harriers. They've had so much possession. I haven't seen a better 20 minutes. There's a full time whistle here. Sorry, Keith. But I haven't seen a better 20 minutes of football played by any side of this level this season than Harriers played in the start of the second half.